In this tutorial, I'll trace out the number 2 using Bezier curves and I'll look at Bezier curve handle types, change the view from perspective to orthographic, change the view to the top view, press X to delete the cube, add text, zoom in with the mouse wheel, go into edit mode, delete the text, press 2, go back into object mode, in the object menu transform geometry to origin, add curve bezier and go into edit mode. There are two control points and each control point has two handles. I'm going to move one control point to the bottom left hand corner of the number 2 and the other control point to the bottom right hand corner of the number 2. Select the control point. There are many ways to move things in Blender. With the cursor not over the control point, I'm going to press G to grab. Now I can clearly see the control point as I move it. When it's in position, click. Select the other control point, press G to grab and move it into position. And we get a bit of a mess, but this is useful because we can look at how we can sort it out. Click the plus to open up the properties panel, scroll down and in the curve display panel untick normals, drag to close the panel. The other problem is the length of the handles compared to the length of the curve, so I'm going to make them shorter. Select the handle, use the tip of the red arrow to move it. Select the other handle, use the tip of the red arrow to make it shorter. Select the handle, press G to grab and make it shorter. Select the other handle, press G to grab and make that one shorter. I want to take a quick look at the different handle types. Automatic, this handle has a completely automatic length and direction which is set by Blender to ensure the smoothest result. These handles convert to aligned handles when moved, so they're set up automatically by Blender. When you move a handle they get converted to aligned which we'll cover soon. Type vector are good for sections made of straight lines or with sharp corners. Vector handles convert to free handles when moved. I'll go over free soon. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. These handles are of type aligned. I am going to convert them to type vector to do the straight edges. Select the control point. Hold down shift and select the other control point. In the curve menu, control points, Set handle type, notice shortcut key is V and select vector. Use the tip of the green arrow to move both points down. Select the left point and move that down and slightly to the left. Select the handle, use the tip of the red arrow to shorten it. Use the tip of the green arrow to make an angle of about 45 degrees and the tip of the red arrow to make the handle vertical. Select the control point, press E to extrude followed by Y for the Y direction and move the control point up. The green arrow is in the way so I'm going to select anything. Now I can select the handle and use the tip of the red arrow to make an angle of roughly 45 degrees and the tip of the green arrow to make the handle horizontal. The red arrow is in the way so I'm going to select anything. Now I can select the control point and press E to extrude and X for the X direction and I can move the new control point into the corner. The next corner is at the end of this curve here. Press E to extrude and place the new control point. Select the handle, press G for grab and place the handle. Zoom back with the mouse wheel, pan
hand down, shift and mouse wheel. Select the handle, press G to grab and place it. The curve doesn't look very smooth. In fact, it's made up of a series of straight lines. If we click the object data properties for the curve, by default, there are 12 lines. If we double that to 24, the curve is a lot smoother. Now comes the time-consuming part of fine-tuning the positions of the handles and the control points. Select the handle and either press G to grab or use the tips of the arrows. Next, the final corner point. First, select the handle, use the tip of the green arrow to move it down and the tip of the red arrow to move it across till it's vertical. The green arrow is in the way. Select anything, select the control point, press E to extrude and Y for the Y direction and move the new control point down. Select the handle and use the tip of the green arrow to move it down, the tip of the red arrow to move it across until it is vertical. To trace out the final curved part, we have to add another segment to the Bezier curve. Select one of the end control points, hold down shift, select the other end control point in the curve menu, make segment. Select a handle, press G to grab and place it. Select a handle, press G to grab and place it. Select a control point and use the tip of the red arrow to move it a little bit. Although the tracing is not perfect, I'm going to stop there. Going back to look at the Bezier curve handle types, remembering that automatic, as soon as you move a handle, become aligned and vector, as soon as you move a handle, become free. I set the control points to be vector. I moved the handles so they were automatically converted to free. With free control points, the handles are independent of each other. All six of the control points that I have used have all got free handles that move independently of each other. For handles of type aligned, these handles always lie in a straight line and give a continuous curve without sharp angles. These are examples of aligned handles taken from my egg tutorial. If I select a handle and move it, both handles always stay in a line and we get a smooth curve with no corners or points. That's the end of the tutorial. All files used or created in the tutorial can be downloaded from my website, a link to which can be found in the description below or by clicking the little eye icon in the top right hand corner. If you'd like to subscribe, click the stick man. Thanks for watching and goodbye.